Do you want to tell them about the most amazing trick ever? Golly, let's not dig up my grass. If you ever email anything about the store, it's us. That's who it goes to. They're doing oh. like an informational thing about the COVID-19 vaccine. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day in the fry life, which uh -oh. includes some delicious food. Did you make enchiladas? Mm -hmm. Nice, I was up working in the office and Mary texted, you hungry? So I didn't know what I was gonna find, but Inchilada. I'm excited. Our chimichangas that we made last night were so good. Yeah, they were good. But I mean, they're a bit heavier because you kind of yeah, it's like fried. Fries. I mean, I don't know what the definition of a chimichanga is. No, I don't either. But to us, it's like a crispy, fried, yummy hot. It's kind of like a fried enchilada. <laughs> um, we did it with corn tortillas last night. These are whole wheat. wheat. Yeah. Nice. I have found, I've been buying the whole wheat tortillas, yeah. and I don't taste a difference. I mean, when it's covered in like Cheese salsa, salsa chicken. Yeah. So, yeah. hey, okay. All right, let's, let's eat. Okay, we just finished filming a podcast, and Peter just finished reading me the first chapter. We both have to read it. So he was reading it out loud. I was listening while I was painting. Today I'm painting sombreros because I randomly thought, I want to paint a sombrero. So now I'm in the process of putting a couple of sombreros on bluebirds, obviously. And Peter bought some Drano. It's a whole thing. No, we seem to have some sort of a weird bathroom sink situation. So we're gonna try some things and see what happens. We've tried the stick the snake thing down the drain and it didn't really do anything so I'm making dinner because wow it's a whole 507. Usually I'm making dinner at like 420 so this is a record for us. I'm making shrimp and grits. We've been enjoying it. I just pull out I have in the freezer a bag I think it was a two pound bag. Three pounds, no wonder it's lasting so long. I just, I pull out about 16 shrimp. We eat like seven or eight shrimp each. And I thaw that many shrimp. You just run some cold water over them. And then I will, it's pretty easy. I would say this is one of my quickest meals I can make because grits only takes a little, I don't know. Grits are very quick, I'll say that. So shrimp and grits and then whatever veggie I choose out of the fr freezer because I don't think we have any in the fridge. Oh, those potatoes. Mm, I wonder if I should make those. I had some leftover baked potatoes, so I sliced them up. I thought I'd bake them, and I don't know. Hmm, I think I'll make them tomorrow morning. Probably like a late breakfast, early lunch. I'll like pan fry them. Okay, green beans. And pan. And then a pot for shrimp, or grits. We'll be good to go. Green beans, grits, shrimp. I put Old Bay onion, granulated onion, granulated garlic. What's the difference between this and garlic powder and onion powder? I don't know. Pepper. And I probably don't need to salt them. I don't know. Okay, a little bit of salt. And that's butter. The way I've been doing the grits is I will cook it with just water and salt. And then when they are about done, I will throw in a little bit of butter and a little bit of shredded cheese so it can get kind of rich and creamy. And today I'm just gonna use some of this Colby Jack that I shredded a few days ago. All right, I just got done editing the podcast that we recorded, we kind of reflected on, come on, we reflected on 
10 years of marriage and some of the lessons we've learned. That podcast is up on my channel, I should say, our other channel, um, youtube.com slash living with hope podcast. Anyways, guys, I got a little project I'm working on. I ran to Lowe's earlier today to pick up some pavers because I've got, I moved, we wanted more deck space, so I moved my smoker grill down to the grass because we were like, no sense in keeping it up there when, like, this is just as close. I can bring it down here. But the ground's a little, like, sloped down, and right now I, like, used a couple of, like, brick uh, landscaping things to kind of prop it up because I want, you want it to be level. I want the lid to sit right and everything. So, my goal has always been to make a kind of paver a grill patio <laughs> no just like a little uh platform but i need to like level out the ground put the pavers down anyways i got the materials i need eventually i want to make a paver walkway from the back fence to our back deck but I'm still working on water drainage situation. I put in, when I planted the grass back here, I put in a drainage system. But it needs some adjustments such as water from the side yard kind of flows along here. So this grass, uh, you can tell like here it's never really developed because it's, it's soggy like the ground is always soggy so I think probably in the fall I will address this hey Ollie let's not dig up my grass in the fall I think I will address that because then I can replant uh, grass after I basically what I'll do is I'll put a drain right outside the fence I'll run um, a French drain to soak up any extra water along here and connect it into my drainage system that runs like it runs from this gutter and runs underground to it's a whole thing anyways Ollie likes to dig up the grass which is fine it's just I prefer if he's stuck with a couple of holes <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, those are some of the projects that I'm working on, or at least thinking about. I, I think this, this shouldn't be too hard. I got some extra soil and some, like, paver base, like, sandy stuff to go under the pavers. Get it nice and level, put the grill on top, and smoke another brisket. Which, actually, I need to smoke. We need to do pulled pork here pretty soon because we used the last of the, last of the pulled pork that we had in the freezer. Which, I'm like, I really enjoy the like using the smoker and so I'm always like, are we out yet? Can I smoke something? So, maybe I should do a Sam's Club order and get a, a pork butt. Okay, so there it is. And then my friend who apparently I haven't tasted it yet, but apparently she's the best shrimp and grits cooker, cook, maker. And she told me she does a cream sauce on top. I kind of winged it here, so we'll see. I think it might be good. I'm gonna pour some of that over. Our dinner was delicious, and then Peter put a couple of frozen cookie, cookie dough balls that I made a while back and froze. Snicker, snickerdoodles and oatmeal chocolate chip. Do you want to tell them about the most amazing trick ever? Oh. Make your cookie dough, roll it in balls, flash freeze it in like on a plate or something. Dump it once they're frozen into a Ziploc. And then you've got frozen cookie balls and you can just make one or two or have many you need. Pop them out, have fresh cookies after the amazing shrimp and grits we had for dinner. Just saying. Mary's having snickerdoodles, I'm having oatmeal chocolate chip. 
I'm not gonna be able to eat three snake oil noodles though. I didn't know how hungry you were, so I put three on there. Are you gonna be able to eat one? Mm. We'll see about that. I think this will do it for now. Hmm. We'll save those for later. Huh. Did you start your outside project? Not yet, but I told him about it. Maybe I should do it. Go do it. Although, it probably doesn't make sense to do it in the dark. Probably not. I'll do it tomorrow. We have Zoom small group or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Bible study at 7.30. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's possible that we've been doing Zoom small group for months. And every single time, I forget if it's at 7 or 7.30. So there's that. Cheers. Cheers. I was sitting on the couch and I looked over and I saw that butterfly shadow on the floor. It's a shadow of one of Harry's toys. And I thought, I need to go trace that. <laughs> the tracing didn't work that great because it was very awkward to hold a pen and not move the that guy. So maybe I'll try it again in a different position. But that's fun. I'll have to go paint that. And yeah, it's been a good day. I was able to go up and pack a whole bunch of our new mugs. We have a new tin mug. It's like a white mug with red joy on it. So if you were hoping to get a joy mug, but weren't able to get one before they ran out, we have new joy mugs, different color. And so I set up a whole bunch of those boxes. Sometimes we get emails at the store email and they're basically like an email that's written as if it's kind of a random person working. Um, but it's us. If you ever email anything about the store, it's us. That's who it goes to. We're the ones who read those emails. We're the ones who reply to those emails. And we're the ones who set up the boxes. I had so much fun sitting there setting up all these little square cardboard boxes for the mugs. I grab a mug out of the big box, I wrap it in some paper and bubble wrap, and then put it in the box. And then when I get mailing labels, I write a note, usually on the inside of the box, to you guys, and then tape it up and put the mailing label on or put anything else in the box if you order stickers and that sort of thing. So, if you ever wondered, wonder how they run that store, wonder who does all the work, it's us. The, the um, only things we don't do are the shirts. Those are printed at a manufacturer, not us. And they ship directly from the manufacturer to you. And we do everything else from our working room upstairs. I just remembered I have to log on at seven o'clock for the CF Foundation thing. They're doing oh. like an informational thing about the COVID-19 vaccine. So I wanted to log on there in two minutes. Let's do it. So. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't you think we're better together?